Kevin the Skull Anderson, and welcome yet again to another live stream. Yes, ladies and gents. A lot has changed about me in the last couple of weeks. I felt a lot better since I started taking in Billify, and I've gotten a lot of stuff done as well. And I'm very, very, very happy about that. And I cannot possibly be any happier. Now let's get to the stuff, right? Yeah! That's what we're talking about. Okay. Apparently I got a good game going here. So... I'm gonna get to that game right now. Yeah. Pretty much, I mean, you might as well just say that. I know I'm gonna get at least 350,000 coins for playing this party game. Because my buddy Yako Wonders, he already filled the load for me, so that's good. way, Mr. Yako Wonders. Thank you. It means a lot, man. Thank you. I'm appreciative of the 10 coin party you just gave me. It means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, man. I really enjoy this. You know? Always good to see somebody setting the bar high for me. It's really awesome. I like it. Yeah, man. Yep. Got myself another great party game out of the way. So I got that taken care of. So nothing can possibly go wrong this time, right? Right. I mean, it's it's just that simple. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah! What we're talking about? I gotta send a little thank you, just, just for the heck of it, just for the heck of it. gets on to stuff, she gets on to stuff. She can't help herself sometimes. That's how animals are. They just can't help themselves. Luckily, we're here to help them, and that's just as good. So I am perfectly okay with that, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. And then getting stuff done quick. That's the name of that game, yeah.
my goodness, get down! Yeah, man. Oh, you guys like my new musical intro for this for this stream? I'm sure you guys will like it, because, you know, I, I composed it on KCRoll.com, or net, or whatever it is. They have this piano app on there that you could just use as a legitimate keyboard. You know, that you can get for free, clearly. Because why not? Free is free, right? Free is always going to be free. Doesn't matter how many ways you try to slice it. You know? But yeah, that's pretty much that. Pretty much that, people. Pretty much that. Not sure that you guys are aware of this or not, but last night on Goldmasters, right? I spent about a thousand shards, and I managed to get 2,500 gold bars out of it, and I'm really, really happy about that. And this morning, this morning, for how many days has it been in a row? Like, like 56, 57. For the 57th day in a row, I've gotten a thousand gold bars at least on a daily spin. How I'm able to do that on my mobile device 57 days in a row, I have no idea, but somehow I managed to do it. The streak lives, ladies and gentlemen. It, I'm basically, I'm basically, when it comes to these daily spins, I'm Goldberg during his streak from 97 to 98 or something. I don't know. He had like 173 straight matches without an L, and then he finally took one at the hands of Kevin Nash. So that's kind of, um, that's really, I wonder if I'll make it to more than 173 days in a row. We'll find out. We'll find out in about four months. Four months, just about. Might as well say that. Four months! Oh man. Ah. No. Of course not.
Tell you what. Guys, I am just another one of those melodramatic people. I'll be more than willing to admit that to you guys. I am the epitome of melodramatic. You look up that word in a dictionary, I guarantee you, you'll find my face beside the definition. Because <laughs> I am. I am the epitome of that word, yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo. You know? And yes, I did take my fluoxetine this morning, thank God. I thank my scars for that. Ugh. And, and yes, before you get freaky and freak out or everything, yes, I do have scars. Not that that means anything, but you get it. Yeah, I do that a lot, in case you're wondering. It's, it's my way of imitating a drum kit. I can do it with my mouth too, you see? You know? Yeah, I can do that as well. Although I'd have to grip my teeth really quickly. And I've been doing that for years. For years! Sorry I had to go all Looney Tunes and 3D on you, but it's just... Well, hell, I guess I am a Looney Tune, aren't I? I'm such a freaking loon. Let me tell you, let me tell you guys. <laughs> Man. So this, this, this one time, right? Let me, let me recount one of the most awkward moments of my life, right? So I remember plain as day, I remember very, very plainly. I was at the Haynes Mall one time, right? With my older cousin and my mom. And she was doing pretty good out there. You know, she's she's a grassroots businesswoman. She's a grassroots entrepreneur is what she does. Um... So while she was out there selling products to people in the parking lot, you know, crosses and beads that her and I made back when I was living with her, something happens. A really, really funny thing happened. There was this, there was just two British guys right there, right? In, in, that was like around four or five different car rows behind or in front or right or left of us I can't remember which I think it was right but so the guys the Brit guys five cars to the right of us they were having a conversation and this one guy was like I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna this one guy was talking to trying to figure out where the keys are hey um, do you know where the keys are I don't know I don't know either and and <laughs> my cousin and I just started laughing. <laughs> we couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is crazy, man. It's just <laughs> that was one of the most awkward things I've ever. I I don't think they were British though. I think they were aspiring voice actors. From right here in my birth date and birth or whatever it was. I don't know. But it was just so funny, man. It was it was funny. <laughs> the interaction between the two of them was freaking priceless. I'm telling you, it was priceless. 
you just had to be there. You you needed to be there and see it to believe it. It was literally I I absolutely kid you not that actually happened. I really don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> oh my god. But that's something for you. Something that happened really, really nice. <laughs> yeah. My life's going away at the dodo bird, everybody. Going away at the dodo bird. You know? <sighs> it's just, it's, it's funny for me to even think about it, but at the same time, you can't not ignore it. To an extent to where you just have to notice it and then just accept it for what it is because that's the way things are and that's the way they are meant to be and stuff like that you know other things of that nature oh oh and and by the way Just thought I'd have to tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're on to lay out with some wacky races impersonations. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do some wacky races impersonations. I'll start with 
Penelope pit stop. Hi, Elp! I've got a flat tire and I need something to change that. Anybody got something for little old me, Elp? Can't I get a little hay up here? You know, you know, and, and, and then, of course, Sylvester sneakily. I'll get you, Penelope Pit Stop. That was terrible. Fuck me. Um, let's see. Dick Dastardly. Not unlike the terrible impersonation of him in the latest Wacky Races reboot, which I think is the first since it was initially aired in the late 60s by Hanna-Barbera. But this is the original Dick Dastardly voice, not the British impersonation that he's been known for in the remake now, but the original, okay? All right. Drat! Muttley, go get me something to drink. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Shut up! That, that was Muttley, by the way, in case you guys haven't noticed. I, I don't know, man. It's just... Oh, look now, they're coming down the stretch, and it's, and it's Pat Pending for the win! Trying to impersonate the announcer from Wacky Races, in case you guys are wondering. But you understand. You know the deal. I don't even have to tell you, because, well, it, you just know. You guys know that show, right? Everybody knows that show. Whoa, Black Betty, ambulance. Whoa, Black Betty, ambulance. I don't know, man. Now, I tell you, I think that turned out quite well. I don't know about you guys, but this was just straight fire. <laughs> Let's get my ugly face out of there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't have an ugly face. I have an average face, albeit a very punchable one. I'm a really nice guy, though, so. But of course, as they always say, nice guys finish last. Or in many cases, they don't finish at all. They keep going and they keep going, 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 going until the job gets done. Hey! That's what we're talking about. Right? Yeah. Show got that right. I just know it. You guys want me to do an impersonation of the Ant Hill Mob from Penelope Pit Stop? I'm pretty sure you guys might be interested in this. Or maybe not, I don't know. Screw it. At this point, I'm not sure I even care anymore. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm doing this because it's something that I enjoy doing. And I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same way, so. I mean, yeah, it's just, I try to do what I can, man, that's what I do, I help people out, I live to work and I work to eat. Yeah, I eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Yay!
Man, this is great. Want to do a let's let's I'm gonna do a Vanessa impersonation. Let's do a Vanessa impersonation. Yay! Yeah, just just start. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know. Just big old dog impersonation. You didn't know I could do animal impersonations, did you? Well, now you know. Congratulations. <laughs> You'll just have to take my word for it. I don't know anymore. So a funny thing happened while I was helping one of my mentors pack and store some stuff earlier this week. I learned that that his stalker, Jessica, yes he has a stalker, ransacked his place and proceeded to steal my electric guitar, my amplifier, a couple of rolls of my yarn, and my... $83.20 JBL speaker that I bought on Amazon that one time. So, I've made up for the yarn. All I gotta do is buy some needles. And then I'm going to proceed to... Of course, John told me that he'd... he'd buy me a new electric guitar and amp because he's got the money he's got money and but you know the guy works his butt off for a living so he earns every penny that he gets he deserves every single penny that he's got you know because he works for it every day he's a great man a great great man <laughs> Man, I tell you what. Surprisingly, folks, I didn't know how the hell I was going to make it this far. 
typical 1950s male impersonation. I don't know. I'm just spinning my wheels at this point, trying to figure out something to say. Is this what I do? In case you're wondering. Well, I am pleased to announce that, shockingly, that went surprisingly well. So I'm very happy about that. Just needed to let that one out, man. Just needed to let that one out. You know, just for the heck of it, because of course I can.
I've always been passionate about one day owning a drum kit in physical form, legitimately. I've always wanted a physical drum kit. You know? Or more like a digital one. A digital one would be better. <laughs> Such a cute thing, huh? Such a cute looking thing. Mm Cats are so adorable. You guys know that? Yeah. Such a good kitty. Yeah. Uh. I tell you what. Tell you what I'm going to do, guys. Going to do I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to take a break for a little bit. All right? I'm gonna take a little break for about three and a half minutes, I believe. And I will be back. Gotta take care of some business first of all. Huh? Eh? Be back. Took a lot longer than I thought it would. Huh. I'll keep myself up to date on the situation. Yeah. Hmm.
keep myself up to date on this. See how everything turns out. Because you just never know. Never know what's going to happen. It's always good to keep an eye out, to expect the unexpected. You never really know. No one ever truly knows unless they are given a certain situation at which point they would have to know it right then and there or else be damned for all eternity. But you guys understand. You get it. I don't have to tell you. You just know. By the way, would you believe me that those are scratch marks from a dog? No, seriously, on, on, in all seriousness, let me show you. Scratch marks from a dog, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty sure I know which dog that is, too. Don't know if you got a good enough view of it, but, you know, things are what they are. Can't change fate, everybody. You can't. You just have to accept it. Let's get some more of that stuff, huh? Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah, man. Somebody's watching, didn't they? Yeah. That's great, man. Woo! That's what we're talking about. Woo! Oh my god, this is this is some great stuff. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> That is the highlight of my day, ladies and gentlemen. Man, if I don't get three hopper cubes out of this, I'm gonna be peeled, man. But then again, I mean, there's always next time, so it's not that big a deal. There's the third one. That's what we're talking about. Yeah.
pretty sure I ranked up another level. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. By the way, I'm going to be doing a mass upload of my past streams up until including this one on my YouTube channel sometime later this weekend. So, until then, this is Kevin the Skull Anderson leaving you with a cut from something that I think you all can relate to. With so many things playing at one time, you just can't make sense of it all anymore. Right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. You know, I could have swore someone having a nervous breakdown in the background, having to listen to all that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you what right now. Let me just, let me cut to the chase, okay? I'm going to be doing a mass upload of all of my past streams from the 8th one to the present one that I'm doing now that I'm just about to conclude. So, expect those to be on YouTube sometime later this weekend. And in the meantime, after I get done sorting out my purple mystery gifts, I am going to close this stream. And until next time, I will be seeing you later on somewhere down that road. And I don't know where it's gonna lead to, but I'm telling you now, gonna lead to something great, gonna great night, dang, gonna take my smile, gonna take it right off the bank. Yeah, man. Because that's what I do, man. I try to make the most of everything, and that's the way things are, and that's the way I live, and that's the way you should live, too. And that's probably the way that many of you are living right now. And I wouldn't doubt that a single solitary bit. So, on behalf of Skull Media Enterprises, I am Kevin Skull Anderson, and I will see you all next go-round. Later! <laughs>